with last chapter, I'll walk you through the Java Jam case study, and then you'll do Fish Creek and Pacific Trails on your own. So I do encourage you to follow along with me um, as I go through this. This um, The main instructions start on page 124 through 125 in your book. Okay, it tells you in task one to uh, create a folder, but I already have that folder created for you. Um, it's in your HTML chapter three student files. You go to case studies, and then we have, um, well, not Fish Creek, we're working on Java Jam. And go ahead and open those in code. Okay, and then task two, says you will use a text editor to create an external style sheet named javajam.css. So let's create a new file. We need to make sure that we save that file in the same folder as index and menu. And it said uh, javajam, wait, wait, let me make sure, javajam.css, javajam.css. Okay, under task two, I went ahead. I went ahead and typed our CSS rules, um, but I am going to go over them. Number one says global styles for the document. Use the body element selector with a background color of that, a text color of that, uh, and then a Verdana Arial or Sans Serif font. So remember, we use Font Family um, for changing the font typeface. Step number two, styles for the header element selector that configure a background color and centered text. So you can see what I have there for that. Styles for the H1 element selector that configure a 200% line height. Um, styles for the nav element selector that configure centered and bold text. Hint, use CSS text align and font weight properties. It already has that. Um, it told us what to use there. And step five says styles for the footer element selector that configure a background color, which I have, the small font size of 0.6M, which I have, italics, which I don't have, and centered text. So I do have the centered text. So what if I forgot italics? Like, I don't even know if we did italics in this um, chapter. So if you forget what a property is, just go CSS, italic, and there's our trusty W3C school. So I, I want to encourage you, if you forget how to do something, just Google it. Um, that's, that's, you're lucky and fortunate to have that. So there it tells us it's a font style property and then the value is italic. So let's go back and add to that footer font style italic. Okay, task three. Um, it does tell you to go ahead and validate that, so I would I would copy and paste the projects that you do on your own or upload them to the validator uh, to make sure that you have them um, coded correctly. Task three says um, we're going to open the index page and we're going to add a link element to associate the web page with the Java Jam external style. So remember the link element needs to go in our head section, so I'm just going to put it right before our head closes. We use the link. I do href first, but you can do either one. The name of our CSS file is javajam.css, and our relationship is a style sheet. Okay. We're going to configure the navigation area by removing the bold elements, which are no longer needed. And I may have already, no, I didn't. So we're going to remove these Bs here and here because now we've done that with CSS and we're going to configure the page footer element excuse me the page footer area by removing the small and italicized so we'll do those because now we've coded those with um, CSS which is the preferred method okay so save and we'll do alt B to view in the browser and that's what we have so far okay uh, now we need to launch menu in the text editor because our CSS is not yet associated with menu. So I have it open here. For the menu page, we're going to add our link element in the head section. 
to link our CSS to this page. Okay, and let's see. Okay, now we can test it if we need to. Alt B, and yes, it did apply that CSS. Okay, task five says that we're going to modify our CSS index and menu to configure page content that is centered with an 80% width. So this is what we did with the wrapper. So in our CSS file, we are going to um, add a wrapper. So an ID wrapper and set our width to 80% and margin left and margin right will be auto. Oh, do you see that mistake I made there? Left out a semicolon. Okay. Now in our index, this is under task five, step two, we're going to add HTML code to configure a div element assigned to the wrapper. And it says a div. Um, I don't think we practice much with a div, but let's try that. So we are going to have a div that's just going to basically contain our whole body section. Um, so let me make sure that we're doing this. Yes. Um, right after body starts, right after our body tag opens, we'll add a div ID equals wrapper. And then this div needs to close right after, right before our body closes. Okay. So drag it all the way down to right after the body closes. And now if we view this in the browser, we have the 80%. Now menu, we need to fix menu. So let's go and do the same process with menu. Now a div is, is similar to a span, um, except a div gives an extra, it adds some extra spacing, some extra white spacing. Um, but you can use a div similarly to the way that we used to span. Okay, let's add that div here. And then we need to drag this closing div to right before our body closes. Okay, so after you finish all of that, um, especially when you're working on those all, your own projects, you need to upload them to the validator and make sure everything's checking out okay. Uh, but if we view this in a browser, it looks similar to the picture on page 125. And our styling is applied, uh, applied to both pages. Okay, so you try Fish Creek and Pacific Trails on your own and let me know if you have any questions.